All right, let's check out who's in the zone, brought to you by AutoZone. It's the Utah Jazz, who have won 20 of their last 21 games after beating the Clips last night. Now, the Clippers without Kawhi and PG, but the Jazz have been dominant, posting two win streaks of at least nine games this season. No other team has even won eight straight at all so far. So, Richard, is this a hot streak or a potential title run? I think that this is a potential title run. They've done everything that they need to do, in my opinion. Like, this is a team that is top five in, in points. They're top five in defense. They're, they're number one in rebounding. They're number one in point differential. I'm not even a stats guy, but when you go break down and look at the, team's, the team stats, these aren't like little bitty moments that they're having. They're actually dominating teams very, very consistently. How they finish is purely up to them. Yeah, so this is a team that was essentially the same roster as they had a year ago, and they've just exploded and blossomed before our eyes. Now, they're healthy, and their top competition in the West, the Clippers and Lakers, are not, and health is going to be a, a major factor. But I don't think I've ever seen a team that has been as close to the Spurs of the, uh, the last title run the Spurs had in 2014 as this team is. And they're coached by a guy in Quinn Snyder who used to be with the Spurs and run by a guy in Dennis Lindsay who used to be with the Spurs. They share the ball. They rely on a center to defend the front of the rim. Uh, they run a very democratic offense. It took, the, you know, the Spurs were in contention many years. It took a lot of years, a lot of things for them to go right, for them to win titles. I think the Jazz are in contention to win it. Whether, they'll, whether they will, let's wait and see. But, man, they're good. Yeah, whew. really fun to watch, too. Just they play together. And, and you can tell that most of that team has been together this whole time in a season where continuity is such an advantage. They are maximizing everything they have to offer. And, of course, Quinn Snyder, as you mentioned, fantastic this year and every year. And he is going to be coaching the Western Conference All-Stars, or I guess whoever the Western Conference player selects on his draft team. We'll get to all of that later. All right, let's get to Steph Curry, though, who's still really good. Newsflash, really good, even when he is not at his best on a night where he missed a career-high 15 threes. Curry led the Warriors still to a 15-point fourth quarter comeback to force overtime, then made a number of key plays down the stretch to seal the win. The Warriors currently seventh in the West. So, Brian, we knew once Clay got hurt again, this was going to be a difficult year for the Warriors. And there was a real range, right, in expectations for them or what people thought that they could accomplish. Is the way Curry has come back and played changed your expectations for the Dubs for this season? No, and I don't mean that to sound bad. Like, I thought they were a bubble playoff team, and I expected Steph Curry to be great. I'm one of these people who believe that Steph Curry is a top 10 all-time player. Uh, and like last night, as good as he was, that wasn't even a top 10, top 10 performance that he's had this season. It was, you know, he was good at the end, but it was kind of just average for him. And that's how much I believe in Steph Curry. That's how much I believe in the Warrior way. And Draymond Green is putting on a clinic on how to win basketball games without scoring this year. It's a joy to watch him play. I still think they're a bubble playoff team. I still think they're going to remain there. I could even argue that it might behoove them, especially considering they have the Minnesota Timberwolves draft pick this year, if it's mm -hmm. outside the top three, that it might be best for them to miss the playoffs and get two lottery picks in this draft. But hats off to Steph Curry. He's been great for a long time. He's an MVP candidate. He's not surprising me at all. That face, Richard, is fantastic, yes? Uh, well, no, I understand. There was a lot of things, a lot of things that we have to unpack that Wendy just said. One, top 10 player. I respect <laughs> that. I cannot wait to see your top 10 list. And I say this, but knowing that Steph still has more to add to his resume. Next part that I, I, I want to talk Three about is Three titles like, and two MVPs, Rach. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's I, a, that's I, a I, short list. It's a very short list, and he's going to add to that list before he's done, but I'm just curious to hear your top ten. That being said, the Warriors are right where they are, right where they should be. Steph is having an MVP numbers stats type season, and they're the seventh team in the conference. So, that being said, where, what are they? This, the best that I think that they could do is possibly a second round. I'm not going to ever say a guy that's having an MVP season that's one of the top ten players of all time should or maybe their team should think about losing get a second lottery pick that's not what top 10 players do that's not what Steph does so I think that the Warriors are a very good team I think a second round if they're healthy if they're playing well but eventually they're going to run into some troubles with a lack of firepower when you start playing against those top teams well Steph Curry has said it is fun going to the arena 
it every day and just having that challenge of not knowing how a game is going to turn out. There were certainly years where they had pretty serious expectations that they were going to walk into the arena or as Draymond Green once put it when we arrived on the bus we pretty much knew we were going to win and he said that he's actually enjoyed the process this year of working his way through games with this team but of course he will also enjoy the process next year when Clay Thompson is back and they are once again expected to be championship contenders. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to ESPN+.